Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. Thank you for all the recent support on this channel, it's been insane. I just recently hit 40,000 subscribers, which is something that I never thought that I'd ever hit. It just feels unreal, and I can't thank you enough for your support. Thank you to all my patrons. I have a tier where you get a Polaroid signed by me monthly, a personalized video, you get access to my podcast, and you get your names right here. I was thinking about what to make a video on and I came across an article on Steve Harvey. You know Steve Harvey of Family Feud fame? You know this guy? Or this guy? You know, Steve Harvey, the guy who cheated on his wife and has a bunch of sexual assault allegations. It's fine. The article that I read was talking about his past and how he hates most people who don't believe in God. And then I found this video and I knew I had to talk about it. How to date a white woman, a practical guide for Asian men. <laughs> First of all, that's a book. How to date a white woman, a practical guide for Asian men. <laughs> oh, Steve. Okay. That's one page, too. One Excuse page. me. Do you like Asian men? No. Thank you. Okay. How to date a black woman. A practical guide to Asian men. Uh-oh. Same thing. It's the same thing. Uh-oh. You like Asian men? I don't even like Chinese food, boy. <laughs> What a funny joke, Jesus Christ. We've got about 20 seconds left. Let's see what else he can do. Oh, sexy. It don't stay with you no time. I don't eat what I can't pronounce. I don't eat what I can't pronounce. Steve, is that, is that a joke? I don't think I've ever heard any woman say, I don't eat what I can't pronounce. Because white people are the kind of people to eat things they can't pronounce. Like white people barely know how to pronounce P.F. Chang's, let alone a dish on the menu. <laughs> Do you like Asian men? No. Thank you. Is this supposed to be his impression of an Asian man? When was this? 2017 good huge red flag if you see somebody laughing at their joke this much it's either super offensive or it didn't hit in the slightest or both i, li I like these ladies <laughs> i can't pronounce it i get it <laughs> The lady on the left's name is Christina and the lady on the right's name is Dorothy. Christina and Dorothy went to the Steve Harvey show to like hope that he would rip on other races and they are ecstatic. They think that fried rice is spicy. <laughs> Then I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole finding different shitty things that he said. Here's a perfect one. This is Steve Harvey commentating over a baseball game and he made comments on Flint, Michigan and the state of their water. This was in 2017. Let's see what he says. Hey, hey one more thing though. One more yeah. thing. Enjoy your nice brown glass of water. Oh, God! <laughs> Excuse me, Steve, what'd you say? One more thing though. One more thing. Enjoy your nice brown glass of water. Oh my god! Steve! That's like the most privileged thing to say. You enjoy that nice brown glass of water. Fuck you! Oh my god. These people haven't had clean water in so long and he goes... And this is my time to make a controversial joke from the guy who is still friends with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Here's another good quote. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. Oh, okay. Well, right off the bat, good, good. Because you shouldn't have female friends. Not allowing 50% of the population to talk to you or be friends with you seems to be a very down to earth thing to do. I don't, I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Well, because you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Well, I have a wife and I don't- Not that. <laughs> it's not the wife. You cheated on her. You cheated on her 10 times. Your divorce settlement involved some crazy allegations. Of course it's not because of the wife. Why is it, Steve? Because, look, okay. Let's okay. get rid of this myth <laughs> right here. Know. Let's get rid of this myth right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There's some guy somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear 
that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. Oh, huh. So everything that he's thinking about is sex, right? The devil's smashing, bumping bellies. That's all his mind is on, it seems. And it makes sense because with all of these different things coming out about him, I guess that checks out. But still, for him to be like, there's a guy that you know right now who you think you're just friends with, but he wants to have sex with you. Forget everything you know. <laughs> My God, Steve. We remain your- You hated that. Keep your tongue in your mouth, Steve. Nothing else is happening. Wait. Except this friendship we have. I don't know. Oh my God. That was him like sending signs. Or he's a lizard person. Steve Harvey's a lizard person. Friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust- <laughs> Of course, Steve had to slip that word in there. Just and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. He will slide in that crack? Oh my God. Steve, are women just cracks for you to slide into? It seems like it. What are you talking about? He said, you got to slide into the crack. Steve, oh my God, stop talking to me like that. He's talking to this interviewer like he's about to make some sort of move. Because we're most guys. Men think this way? Uh, 99.9% .9 of us think that way. Don't say of us. I don't think that's the case. I don't talk to Hannah's friends and go, I can't wait for there to be a crack in you that I can fill. What? What are you talking about? I just want friends. I'm lonely, Steve. I'm lonely. I can't buy my friends, Steve. I need friends. <laughs> I don't want to have sex with any of them, actually. And you tell this to a woman and it just blows her back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sliding into cracks, blowing her back. What are you talking about, Steve? Are we talking about the same thing? Because it seems like you're talking about mid-sexual intercourse. The interviewer thinks that you're talking about like the process of getting a woman, but you're definitely sliding in these different like innuendos. Like I will slide in your crack and blow your back. It's also a good rhyme. I have male friends. You have male friends because they know it can be nothing else right now. What? I tell you what, all your male friends, just ask them in a friendly way. If if I wanted to date you, would you be okay with that? Watch the fireworks. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Love the transition at the end. So go up to any of your male friends and say, uh, would you want to date me? and watch the fireworks. Interesting. I feel like that's kind of, I, no, fuck that. I was going to say, I feel like that's kind of an overstatement. Yeah, that's an overstatement. I'm not going to say I feel like that's an overstatement. I know that that's an overstatement. That's so frustrating because <laughs> He's like, he's pushing this weird narrative that every guy just wants to have sex with every girl and you can't be friends. I have to make sure that anybody who I become friends with has not watched Steve Harvey before I say, hey, let's be pals. Here's one of my favorite things that Steve has ever said. This was on CNN talking about atheists. Speaking of God, you say in the book that uh, you wouldn't go out with a woman. I guess a woman should not go out with a man who doesn't believe in God. No, I mean, why would well, you? Well, no, I mean, why would you? Why should you have a difference of opinions and still want to talk? What is the deal? Am I missing something? I believe that only people who are religious are ethical and moral. No, I just believe if you don't believe in God, then where's your moral barometer? She said, do you think that people who are not religious don't have morals? And he said, no, that's not the case. But also, I'm wondering, where is your moral barometer? Hmm? No, I just believe if you don't believe in God, then where's your moral barometer? In your fucking crack, bitch. Sliding in that crack. How about this? Steve, I can't be friends with you because I want to have sex with you all the time, Steve. You're so hot, Steve. I want everything to do with you. I want the caterpillar on the top of your lip to graze the top of my lip. That's just me talking. I you can believe what you, you want to believe, yeah. but if, if you're an atheist, you're basing your goodness and morality on what? On what? What do you mean? On just life, right? A bunch of people have different moral barometers. Okay, science king. But like, I don't understand. Where's his moral barometer? Once he says moral barometer, there's a little pop-up that says Steve Harvey on cheating. Because he's a known cheater. What do you mean? I don't think that the Bible says it's okay to cheat on your wife 10 times and abuse her. I mean, but what is an atheist? I don't, I don't really get into that. You know what? I've talked to people all the time. I'm an atheist. I just walk away. <laughs> I just walk away. I don't know if I believe really in anything specific. I, I want to believe. I just haven't had a higher power to really believe in. But Steve Harvey wouldn't let you explain that. <laughs>
you would say, no, I think I guess I'm considered an atheist because I don't really believe in anything, but I want. And before you say want, he's out of there. He waddles out of there with two women who are not his wife. I don't know what to say to you. you know, well, an atheist is someone who doesn't quite believe in, that there is somebody out there, some God out there. Well, then to me, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, then to me, you're an idiot. <laughs> okay. Well, he's pretty straightforward. I think, I, I guess, uh, I don't know what to say. I guess that's that. Guess I'm an idiot. Okay, well. So I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm just not, probably fine. not the right politically correct thing no, no, to no. say. But if you don't believe in God, I mean, really, you gotta have an explanation for this. <laughs> You have to have an explanation for this. You have to have an explanation for everything. I know this isn't the politically correct thing to say, but I'm still very good friends with Bill Cosby and I don't think he did it. <laughs> Can't tell me this spun out of a gastrous ball. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, then we were evolved from monkeys. Why we still got monkeys? It's too much open here. I just you can't tell me we spun out of a gastrous ball. Why do we still have monkeys? This sounds like every person yelling outside of like a military funeral. Like Westboro Baptist Church is like, why do we have monkeys? Who are gay people? What is gay? Like, what do you, <laughs> we can't come out of a gastrous ball because ball is too close to balls, which is too close to gay. Just believe that. And if you don't believe that, then I don't like talking to you. Good. Thank you, Steve. And finally, the last one that was actually uploaded onto his YouTube channel, I believe. This is called Steve Harvey Tells You How to Make a Million Dollars. I've had a lot of medical problems in the past that hasn't given me the ability to just save up money and make a million dollars. So let's hear what Steve has to say. I hope it's not God related. So when people try to f figure out how to make a million dollars, they have no idea how daunting that is. Cause if you know how to make a million dollars, you go make it tomorrow. If you knew how to make a million dollars, you'd make it tomorrow. Okay. Go somewhere and sit down. That's the wrong approach. Okay. If you apply your gift, your God-given gift that he gave God. you, you have millions already at your disposal. You need something that you do, your gift that God gave you to make $10. What can I do for $10 besides pleasure someone under a boardwalk? Maybe I could, uh, I used to work at Chipotle. Maybe I could make a Chipotle burrito, $10. That's all you gotta be able to know. I don't care if it's cutting hair, cutting somebody's grass, washing somebody's car. Making a burrito. I don't burrito. care if it's mowing somebody's lawn. I don't care if it's the driving people to their destination. Making a burrito. I don't care if it's babysitting. Okay, we get it. If it's baking cookies or pie, burrito clothes. You have some braiding somebody hair. You have something that you can do so well that someone will give you ten dollars for it. Write my paper for me. Do okay. this for me. Make a burrito somebody for me. Give you Once they give you ten dollars, all you got to do is whatever you did to get that ten, do it ten more times. And that equals a million. You now, my friend, have one hundred dollars. Okay. You took a $10 idea and you did it 10 times. Okay. Make 10 burritos. And you do it 10 more times. I got news for you, my friend. You now have $1,000. Okay. $1,000. That's pretty good. After making how many burritos? Let's see. 10 times 10. After making 100 burritos, I've made $1,000. You make $1,000, guess what all you got to do? What, Steve? You got to multiply that effort again. Okay. Do whatever you did to do $1,000, do it 10 more times. Okay. My friend, you now have $10,000. $10,000. I've made 1,000 burritos and I made $10,000. Okay. Now, imagine if you was making an extra 10000 a month. $1,000 burritos. $120,000 a year. Mm -hmm. But I got news for you, my friend. Whatever you did. My friend? We would never be friends. I don't believe in God. <laughs> All you got to times do 10, baby. is do it 10 more times. <laughs> 10 more times, my friend. Yes, my friend. You now have $100,000. Okay. Because now you hire a few more people to help you out. To make that, my burritos. That you can do portions of what you do. Okay. So you can duplicate that effort. And one more times time. 10 Just times one 10 time. one more time only one more time do it 10 times man that sounds hard it is hard it is hard but what else you got to do besides make a hundred thousand burritos i don't know steve but you gonna stop at the hundred thousand all you gotta do is duplicate your efforts by 10. you duplicate your efforts by 10 10 times a hundred thousand welcome to the club my friends you are now a millionaire and then do the 10 by 10 theory inch by inch anything's a cinch now here's sorry sorry i don't mean to be an asshole but 10 by 10 is still a cinched is that what you just said
inch by inch anything's a tit cinch. Inch by inch everything's a cinch? Steve, what does that mean? Things a tit cinch. A tit cinch. When you was down here making 20,000. Well, it's that easy. I just learned it's that easy to become a millionaire and Steve Harvey has helped me immensely. So I would say 100,000 burritos in and I'll have a million dollars. We're not talking about cost of materials, cost of running a business, cost of getting employees, um, you know, taxes. Uh. But now I'm a millionaire. In my brain, I'm a millionaire because I've made 100,000 burritos, brain burritos, in my brain. So thank you, Steve Harvey, for teaching me these valuable lessons, honestly. And I think it's fascinating that uh, it's that easy. Huh. With God and his blessings, I'm a millionaire. And, I, and that's what I'll leave you with. And if you want to be a millionaire, sign up for my Patreon. There's a little plug for you. Check out my podcast called All in Our Heads with Jacob Sharp, where we talk about our chronic illnesses. It's kind of sad, but you know, thank you for the support on the channel. It means the world. I will talk to you all later. Please don't listen to anything Steve said. Have a good day.